Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse Oxygen on your Windows 10 operating system. Eclipse Oxygen is the newest version of Eclipse IDE, which you can use to develop Java and many other languages. So let's get started and let's see how we can install it. So let's talk about the prerequisite of installing Eclipse IDE. So because Eclipse is a Java based IDE, you just need to install Java JDK before installing Eclipse. So if you don't have Java installed on your system, just install it by searching for Java JDK. And then the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com. And then you just need to uh, install the version for your Windows operating system. And then you just need to set the environment variables. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I have already made a video. So please watch that video in order to install Java first. And if you have already installed Java, then we are ready to install Eclipse. So the next step is to search for Eclipse. And the first option or first result you will see here will be from eclipse.org. And you can see Eclipse Oxygen is the latest version. So I'm going to click on this link. And this time they have made it really easy. So you just need to click on this download button and then you just need to click this download button. And when you click this download button, you will be able to download this .exe file, right? So this type of file will be downloaded, which is eclipse-inst-64.exe. If you want to install Eclipse ID from other mirrors, you can choose it from the bottom. You can see different mirrors. But for now, I will just click this download button, which is going to start downloading this exe file, which is for the Eclipse IDE installations. So you can see download has been started and it's about 46.4 megabyte file. So it will be downloaded really fast in few seconds. And once it's downloaded, we are going to see how we can install it. So now this executable file has been downloaded on my Windows operating system. So what I will do is I will not directly open it from here. I will go to the location where it's installed. So I will just say show in folder. And then from here, I will start it as administrator. So let me minimize the browser first of all. So I'm going to right click on this executable file and I'm going to run it as administrator. So this is important. You just need to run it as administrator. And now I'm going to just say yes. And I can minimize this uh, window. And now I can see this Eclipse installation wizard has been started. And in few seconds, I will be able to see the options, whatever variants of uh, Eclipse I need to install. So now I can see the second window. And in this window, I can choose the version of Eclipse I want to install. So I can choose the version for Java developers, Java EE developers, C++ and many other languages. But first of all, what I will do is I will click on this uh, icon, which is on the top right, which is these three sticks. And here I'm going to update this installer. So just click on update first of all, and then you will be able to see this kind of window, which will uh, tell you to accept this license. So I'm going to just check this checkbox and accept the license terms and conditions, which is going to update my installer first of all. So this is to update all the download links or artifacts. So if there are old uh, artifacts or uh, links, which are there in the installer, they will all be updated. And now I can see uh, this uh, message which says update were installed, press OK to restart. So I'm going to click OK, which is going to restart my installer once again. And now I can see these options. So this time I'm going to choose the first option, which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And on the next window, I can see, first of all, the product version, which is Oxygen, which is the latest version. And then 32-bit or 64-bit, so automatically for my system, uh, it's 64-bit. Uh, if you want to choose the 32-bit, you can choose it from here. And the Java version, so it automatically recognizes the location where you have installed the JRE uh, and Java on your system, and it will show you this option. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default. And next will be the installation folder. So just leave it as default also, and then click install. And now I can see this kind of uh, license terms and conditions. So I'm going to just accept now, 
and I will let the installation go on. So now I will wait for the installation to complete. So now the installation of Eclipse IDE has been completed on my system. So I'm going to click on this uh, launch button which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE and I will wait for the Eclipse Oxygen to start. And for the first time when you start Eclipse IDE, it's going to ask you to choose your default workspace. So I'm going to leave it as default and I'm going to just click launch. So now the Eclipse IDE has been started, so I'm going to maximize it. And let's create our first Hello World Java application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose file option from here and then choose the new and I'm going to choose the Java project. So file new and Java project. And in here, I'm going to give the name to my Java project. So let's say, hello world. And then I'm going to just uh, leave the JRE as default, which is chosen by default for me. And I'm going to just say next. And this will be the folder structure of my hello world project. So there will be hello world project and there will be a folder inside the hello world project and the default output folder will be hello world forward slash bin, right? So I don't want to change anything here. So I will just uh, click finish here. So once you click finish, you will not directly see your project. You just need to just minimize this welcome window first of all. So what I will do is I will just choose this uh, minimize option from here so just choose minimize and this is going to show me my hello world project so on the left hand side i can see my hello world project and then i have the source folder here we are going to create a new java file so let's right click on it and we are going to choose new and let's say class okay so just choose the new class and then give the name to your class let's say uh, my class name is demo and then I'm going to choose this option here which says uh, public static void main. So I want to create this public static void main method when this class is created. So I will choose this option which says public static void main and then click finish which is going to create this demo.java file for me inside the source folder you can see and then it will also generate the default main method for me so now i can see this demo.java file and this uh, main method is generated inside the java file for me so let's uh, just print hello world for now so i'm going to just write system dot out dot print ln for print line and then in these parentheses i'm going to just print hello world so just say hello world and then the semicolon and then I'm going to just save my project and let's compile and run it. So I'm going to just press this uh, green button on the top, which will compile my program. And now it shows me hello world message, which is printed using this method. Okay. So this is how you can download and install Eclipse Oxygen on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.